Is your Warzone game looking like this? Lag is a big bottleneck for your gameplay in Warzone. But before we get into the fix, let me say this. I don't know why this fix works for me. I just abstracted away all the underlying processes. As an end result of that, it might not work for you, but it is definitely worth a try to test it out. In my experience, it is a good idea to watch a step-by-step -step guide first before trying it yourself. So let's go. Okay, so first you want to make your game crash. You can either do that by clicking the graphics tab and try to set the texture resolution to high. Click apply settings and go back to the menu. After a few seconds the game should crash and give you some kind of error. But if that doesn't work, you can as well take out your task manager and kill the game with end task. Now the graphics thing didn't work for me so I had to do it with the task manager. I couldn't repl replicate the graphics error. Then you have to close all the battle.net tasks or blizzard tasks in your task manager manually. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna sort them by name and close all the battle.net blizzard tasks whatever. And make sure to look at all processes. It may be one down here somewhere. Um, for me, uh, it's always around the letter B, but make sure to check every everything. The next step is to close the task manager and pull out your documents folder. In your documents folder of your PC, you should have a folder named Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now this also includes Warzone, cause uh, Warzone runs on the Modern Warfare engine and, and is in the same game. So what you want to do with that is you just hit delete. Now this isn't, this isn't your game files, you don't have to reinstall any, anything unless you uh, saved your game in the documents folder. But for me I saved it in uh, on my SSD. And then you hit play. Now if done everything correctly the game should ask you if you want to open it in safe mode. Let's wait for that to happen. So now the dialogue appeared if I want to run the game in safe mode and here we should click yes we want to run it in safe mode. If after 10 minutes you're still stuck in the screen then you just have to kill the game again with the task manager. So we just start the game again and when it asks us if we want, if we want to start it in the safe mode right here we click no we don't want to start it in the safe mode now when the game starts again your settings and everything should have should have been resetted and you have to accept again to the terms of agreement we just click accept and here we just have to we have we just have to set everything new again you're also gonna notice the music is a lot louder because your audio settings will have been resetted. The next step is a bit weird, but I just like to include it because just to be extra sure. You have to load into Warzone, click on options and click every tab on the keyboard and mouse like that. And also every other tab other than graphics like that and at the very end of clicking all those tabs we click graphics the most important thing um, that you uh, want to set is you want to set your texture resolution to normal instead of high and every other thing you can set how you would like it if you're done with your settings check again if you have set your render resolution your texture resolution to normal instead of high and apply settings after hitting apply 
just go back out and restart the game one last time. After restarting you can set all your other settings again, your audio settings, your sensitivity and stuff. And play your first game and test it out. And this is the end result. As you can see my game runs a lot smoother and without any noticeable frame drops. I really hope it worked for you as well. If it didn't work, just write me a comment. I am happy to help out and find possible solutions with you. But if it worked, then I would be happy about a click on the subscribe button and or a like. Thanks for watching.